Alright guys and welcome back. Today we're just spawning in as the clown with no add-ons on Grim Pantry with no offerings played on our side. Now we are running the build that we generally have fallen in love with on our clown. That's an interesting looking window. I don't think I've seen that one in quite, quite some time. Alright, what do we got? We got somebody all the way up there. That is fine. Totem's in a bad spot. Just gonna do a quick one over on these before we head upstairs. Alright, we're gonna just go all the way around. That means we've checked... I hear that. Take a nice M1 on his back. I heard a girl scream as she dropped. I can play this. I'm pretty sure I can get this guy here. You wanna know the best part? He's locked in a corner as well. There's his dead heart. Okay, Alright, I was a little overzealous or over generous with my box uh my boxes, my bottles then, but that's fine. We knew he was in a corner because we checked the door and we saw it was closed. We're gonna check on that gen up top. There goes one of my that was my hex undying, that's rough. Hi Meg. I guess she expected me to go the other way. Alright, we know where every player is because that generator did change colour. Very, very good for us. Chase our Megan for a little bit. Gen still change colours. Medium bolt the window, darling. You won't make the pallet you took it too wide, dead hard. Down she goes. Let's pick her up. I need to fill my bottles. I do not want to take him near my totem. That would be a very large mistake. Damn. Alright. Let's take her over here. We'll fill the bottles. We'll move to the center of the map. I reckon that generator I'm nodding at now, they're going to be playing because they've got a really good pallet there that hopefully I can get out of the way nice and early. This generator's fully regressed. Nice. That's Tinkerer activated. One, two, sprint burst. Three. I didn't overshoot it, which is nice. We get the hit as well. Other guy gets a save. Gonna come over here, try and get this pallet out of the way nice and early. We've got the M1 and the pallet. We're gonna just keep moving on to Quinton. Back on that generator. Boom. Catch him off guard. Show me the dead hard. There it is. Down he goes. Saw the generator change color. Decided to take advantage of a mistake he made. I know he's gonna hit me with DS. We're gonna have to fill our bottles up here too. I'm gonna make sure we get a double break on both of these pallets so he can't play. I didn't even think she was still there. Get Iron Will. Fill our bottles. I'm not going to worry about dropping one on the ground. I, I don't plan on chasing this man when he hits me with DS, which I'm assuming he has right now, hence he greeted for the gen. No DS. We can see they're working on that all the way down there. Good. Let's keep moving through. We still got our ruin. We lost our undying. Would have been better the other way around. That way it respawned. What do you got? Injured. I'm pretty sure you have balanced landing. Pretty sure she's looking for it. It's an M1 in the back. Other guy's safe. That gen's too close to being done. I'm gonna just slug her and I'm gonna come back in. Best case scenario, there's two people trying to heal this guy over here. I see one. Sprint burst. Again, I don't want to chase this dude. Because I know he's on death hook. But I'm just kind of trying to take advantage of a bad play from survivors right now. Let's take him out. Down he goes. Normally, any day of the week, I'd kill that player off, but I feel he had a really rough run, so I don't want to feel like I just tunneled that poor guy down. It'd be a great spot to uh, eliminate him right now, but I'm not in a bad situation. I'm going to go up because she went round. Hear the breathing. Well, I'm listening, bud. The swamp's very loud, Quinton. All right, we've got a free hit on him. See how he moves. Now, we know he had sprint burst. I'm out of bottles, but I'm pretty sure this means I can fool him to giving me something real quick. Yeah? Good movement by him to utilize a window. I got a gut feeling he's going to bait it because of the lead. So I'm going to make it look like I'm going around. So I step back into... Oh, wow. Okay, he made a real good play then. With a couple of bottles, I could catch this guy. Won't make it from that angle. All right, we lost our room. We got our Quinton though. We have to be very, very careful, but we do still have surveillance, yeah? Heard the crows despawn. Pretty sure I know who that's going to be over there. That guy right over there is on death hook. He didn't set the crows off. He was too far away. So I know we got the other lady over there as well. So that's going to be Megan. Megan going back for her generator. 
Other guy healed. I'm gonna leave this and come back in about 15 seconds because he's gonna run all the way back out. That Ashley. I'll take a hit on that. That was a mistake. Ooh, sprint burst. Play window? No, played very, very well. I'm gonna step it. I'm gonna get the pallet for free out of her though. She won't be able to make a medium on the window in time. Very, very surprised she got away with that. Now we get that hit. That was over overdue. Interesting play. Right back through. Still the window hasn't sealed. Iron Will with the window tech. Into the M1 in the back. If you listen real careful for somebody trying to window tech, you can actually hear them. So just remember that. You can hear them move, especially on such a loud surface like the swamp. I had a feeling someone would come in for this generator, so you have my attention. I know you got Sprint Burst and you're trying to save it. Let's get that Sprint Burst out of the way, bud. Already done. See you later. Progress this. Activate this. Yeah, I think it's time to kill a player off. Soon. Very, very soon. Gonna get a nice little regression going again. Any movement? Negative. Gonna check on this. He's on death hook. No more second chances for him. It's an M1 in the back. Window. Very bad movement by him. No dead hard. There it is. Now he's in trouble because he's exhausted. Down he goes. And we're gonna kill him off. I don't wanna kill him on a hook that I've been recycling. Like the hook to my right, I'd rather kill him in the corner. But time management, I don't have Ruin regressing. So we'll eliminate him here. We'll regress this manually, get information through surveillance, move straight back through and apply pressure to the guy that wants to complete doing this generator. Tinkerer activated. We should be able to stop him from finishing it pretty easily. Just intimidate him with a bottle. Direct impact stops people from doing stuff. Looks like he's in dying state, but he's bugged out. Makes it look like he's standing up. Bit of an interesting one there, bud. All right, let's pick him up. Scratch is leading left, Scratch is reading right. Round the... Alright. That way she doesn't sprint burst very far away, only had one bottle left too. I'm gonna fill where I can see if the other girl's coming in. We can follow Scratches, they're 10 seconds on Scratch marks. Playing towards Shaq, it's fine. Very bad movement by her. Medal of Man. That's good. So I'm going to let her heal herself now. I'm going to come back in and stop this. There it is. Can't aim far enough in head. That was a good one. She's still got a fast vault off that though. Can't play that. Well done. Tried to hide my light for it. Back through the smoke to the window. She got a fast vault off of it though. She's running very, very poorly in the direction she's choosing to chase. I could go back to the hook here and stop this save. Pretty sure I just did. Bloodlust into the M1. Down she goes. This other girl would have been coming running in for the save at the last second. Where's her scratch marks? She would have been right here. Pretty sure. I can expect to see an Iron Will Metal of Man Megan no further than the Shack away. Regardless, I know that if she heals, her aura will be revealed to me permanently. So I'm gonna let her heal, and then we're gonna play off of that. We got four gens left. We lost our Ruin and our Undying, which is unfortunate. I didn't think she's far. I, I don't think she's far. I'm gonna check both of these. I have time. She healed herself, and now that she has Metal of Man, or did she have... She wouldn't have had borrowed time on her still. The fact that she healed, she did have a make it in her hand, but she might have grabbed it from the basement. Basement being in the main house. There is a chest over near the main house as well. There's a chest over there too to my left that spawns in. That's fine. We'll keep moving through. Noted. We know where we last downed him. I can see you crouching, darling. 
Not a good move. This is a box and the pallet's already gone. All right, we're gonna lease her down right now. Let's take a tiny bit more information for this last guy. We know he can't heal himself. We're pretty sure he doesn't have iron will. Was working on this generator. There you go. No. No sprint burst. Down he goes. Alright, now we, we managed to track through surveillance, which worked out really well towards the end there. That guy had Unbreakable. Um, I'm gonna look for it. I'm, go I'm gonna look for it. It was a really good Unbreakable play. We should still be able to- we can see him walking right now in front of us behind that tree. We're gonna be able to down him, and then we're gonna be able to go right across the board again. See a crouch walking back the other way? Oh no, Megan. You're wearing bright red hair, my dear. That was a really good dead hard. However, I should be able to follow up with another hit in the back. She knows it's wide now, but she won't make it in time. Down she goes. Well, now she doesn't have Unbreakable, so she can't get back up. Let's go get this one that we just originally picked up. So time management was important to let go of certain scenarios. I could have killed one of those guys, Ashley, sooner than I did. But at the same time, it didn't really matter because we caught him off guard as well. He tried to play a medium vault or a slow vault, and it really just put him in an awkward situation with the movement speed hinder that we had on him. All right, we'll hook this one over here. We know the other one's in the back near the far right-hand side, and we'll head over and get them. You know the rules. If I can hear the hatch, we'll happily give the hatch towards the end of the trial as well. I am going to regress this generator for a little bit of extra blood points. And see how we go from there. Alright, regress. Let's go right across. Already used Unbreakable. I'm guessing she's going to be downstairs because there's a chance the hatch can spawn down here. I hear crying. I see blood. Alright, I kind of want to see if luck favors her for the hatch, but it looks like the other guy isn't going to let go on hook. That being very unfortunate. The Unbreakable play was good, but she should have just stayed on the ground until I hooked the other guy or picked not just picked up the other guy and then I would have been in an awkward situation the hatch would have been an option with her with four gens remaining that being said guys that's gonna be an educational informative rank one or it's rank three at the moment I believe rank three killer game as clown with no add-ons on the grim pantry I hope you guys enjoyed it that being said there was still a couple of pallets left too keeping in mind that time management as one of the weaker killers like clown is so important because if you overcommit to your chases you're going to lose multiple generators i generally didn't overcommit i got pallets kind of early i kind of screwed up the loop around the shack but we were able to come back with it rank two game actually anyways guys gg's well played if you're watching over youtube make sure you hit that subscribe button for more educational informative dvd killer and survivor content much like this if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the subscribe button like i said and pop into the live streams where i stream dvd five days a week anyways guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video